Hi guys, so today's video is going to be an unboxing for a um, subscription box and it's food related and I love doing these videos, they're so cool and it's so nice to try different foods from different countries and stuff. So a company um, reached out to me and they're called Treats and um, yeah, they basically have like food subscription boxes from different countries around the world. So my box is from Germany and this is what the box looks like. So here's what your box is going to look like. It's going to be blue, it's going to say Treats and um, yeah, it just has like a globe It says explore the world through food so uh yeah i really do like this and i can't wait to see what's inside of it so let's see what kind of food is in my box okay so when i open it there's a few cards right here so i'm gonna read those so this first card tells me all the items that i have in my box so i'm not gonna use this right now i'm gonna use it when i go through the box for the foods so the next card it has a picture of berlin germany this month's treats comes from germany a country well known for its beer pretzels and its love for chocolate Chocolate is so beloved in Germany that Germany is actually the world's second largest consumer of chocolate. So yeah, this card is just giving me like a brief um, summary of like Germany and stuff and the different type of things about Germany, you know? So this next card is basically a um, mystery box giveaway. So uh, yeah, it's just a giant box of treats that you could possibly win. So uh, yeah, this is nice. So here's what the box looks like without the cards. So I'm going to open it and see what treats are inside. Ooh, these treats look so delicious. I can't wait to try them. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so this is the first I'm going to try. And these are the Smurf Gummy by Haribo. Um, Smurf gummies are Smurf-themed raspberry-flavored gummies from Haribo, known to be... Hope I'm saying that right. I hope so. <laughs> Particularly fruity and taste. So let's try these. Because I'm trying one of these. These are pretty good. Yeah, I like these. These are really good in taste. These are really good. I'll probably give these like a 8 out of 10. But uh, yeah, I do like these. They're good. Okay, so here is the next item. So these are the Palm Stick Sour Cream by Lorenz. And uh, Palm Stick Sour Cream are sour cream flavored sunflower oil baked potato sticks. These are crunchy in texture and will be and well balanced in taste with a flavor being lightly salted with a hint of sour cream. So let's try these. They're littler than I thought. We have some of these in America. I'm not sure what they're called anymore. I think they're just called sticks. I don't know. But uh, let's try these. Yeah. These taste just like the ones we have in the States. Mm-hmm. I give these a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy these. Next, we have this big bag of chips, and these are the Crunch Chips Paprika flavor, I guess. So, um, yeah, let's read the card what it says. So, these are Crunch Chips Paprika by Lorenz. Um, Crunch Chips are a line of potato chips by Lorenz, and paprika is the most popular flavor. Crunch Chips are made from potatoes grown by Lorenz and are known to be baked in sunflower oil and processed with no artificial flavors. So, let's try these chips. Okay, so I'm trying one of the chips. These taste like the hot chips that we have in America, but they're not like spicy. They're like good. They just have like a red tint to them. Yeah, they don't taste like a kick or anything. Oh wait, I'm starting to taste it now. I am. But uh, yeah, these are good. I give these probably like a 7. I probably want to eat them all the time, but they're really good for a nice snack. So, um, yeah, these are the Crunch Chips. Oh, we have some chocolate. So, these are from Milka. And this is the Choco Moo by Milka. So, Choco Moos are cow-shaped cookies topped with a layer of both chocolate, crunchy in texture, and lightly sweet to the bit. These cookies are simple in structure and deliciously addic addictive to the taste. Okay, so I'm going to try these, and I probably said the name wrong, I apologize, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but they sure do look like cows, it's like a little biscuit with, um, chocolate on the back. So let's try these. Mmm. 
I like these. Mm hmm. I like this. The cookie is like rich and like. It's like a shortbread cookie. It's so good. The chocolate is milky and amazing. Mm hmm. I like this. This is a winner. 10 out of 10 for this. Mocha, you don't sound right. I like this. Next, we have these knickknacks by Lorenz. Knickknacks are a peanuts enclosed with in a savory, salty shell coating. Due to its outer shell being crispy in texture, while its enclosed peanut is crunchy to the bite, knickknacks possess the reputation of having a double crunch. So let's try knickknacks. These are actually a little smaller than I thought, but. Mm. That is really good. It tastes like cheddar on the outside. Mmm. I like this and I love peanuts. This is definitely a good um, product for me. I love peanuts. I love nuts. I love cashews. I love almonds. I love pecans. I love everything. Pecans, pecans. What do y'all say? Pecans, pecans. I don't know. They're all the same. Yeah. Knickknacks. These are good. I give these a 10 out of 10. I love the coating on the outside. It's like cheddar and I love the peanut inside. These are really good. Okay, next we have something from Kinder. And um, this is the Kinder Bueno by Ferrero. Okay, so Kinder Buenos are crispy chocolate covered wafer bars with a rich hazelnut cream filling. They come wrapped in two individually sealed plastic sleeves so you can eat one and save the other one for later. So I'm really excited to try the Kinder Bueno. Okay, so we're gonna try a square. I'm scared because I don't never had Hazel's it before. I might not like this. Why is it crunching? Why is it crunching? That's too much cream. Mm. The wafer caught me off guard. It literally did. This is really good. I really do like the Kinder Bueno. Um, I would probably rate it like a 7 out of 10, but it's really good to be honest. I can't lie. It's good. Okay, guys. So the next thing I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I know I'm going to say it wrong. So I'm just going to spell it because I know some of you guys might know the chocolate snack thing. So it's called H-A-N-U-T-A. -A. I don't know what this is, but we got to read about it. So this is um, wafers are filling of a chocolate spread and hazelnuts, giving it a rich, unique taste and three different textures, crisp from wafer, soft from filling, and crunch from hazelnuts. Wow. Wow. <laughs> let's try this, but let's take a bite of this. Stuck in my throat. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like this one. Okay, so that one I give probably like a four or a three or a two or a one. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I don't like it. Like, I just don't like the feeling. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that one, no. And last but not least, we have another Kinder product, and it looks like this. This is Kinder Chocolate. Kinder Chocolates are individually wrapped chocolate sticks with a creamy milk filling. It is one of the most popular snacks from Kinder. If you're feeling adventurous, we recommend trying some of them frozen. Hmm. Okay, so here's what the Kinder things look like. They are individually wrapped, so let's try this. All right, ready? Set. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, Kinder. You're doing a great job. A1. Um, I like this. This is pretty good. 
I feel like it's really creamy and moist and like a mousse. So, um, yeah, I like that one. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you guys ever tried any of these snacks for all my Germany friends and all my Germany subscribers. Let me know what you guys have tried here, if you guys have seen any of these products that you guys live in Germany. Let me know if any of these are your favorite kind of candies. I would love to know because I personally like a few of these candies and the food. It was pretty good. I never tried like German candy and snacks. It's really cool to like actually get food from different sides of the world because you would never like just go to Germany just to get food and come back. Like no, I would have to be like staying there for a vacation to get that, you know? But uh, yeah, I loved everything. It was pretty good. Um, I didn't really like the last, the second to last thing I tried. It wasn't really a no, no go for me. I, I didn't like that. It hurt my teeth. But yeah, guys, let me know about any of the treats that I tried. If you guys like them or not. If you guys have a favorite, let me know. But uh, yeah, we have this company's link down below. Make sure you guys check it out. It's really cool. Um, they have um, the German box. And I'm not sure about the other box. But I definitely know for sure they have the German box. If you want to try the German box with your friends. Have a sleepover. You guys can get the box. I believe it's $13.95. If I'm not mistaken, check the description. I'll have everything linked down below so you guys can get this box. It's really amazing. Um, and this also is not a sponsored video. I'm not paid to do this. It's just a product review. It was sent to me. By the company just to clear that out the air but uh yeah maybe make a subscription to this site and um yeah you might like the box so with that being said i have my social media down below make sure you guys follow me on all my social media definitely instagram snapchat twitter and also musically i have them all down below make sure you guys follow me to interact with me and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.